Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White. And if you want to learn how to edit video like a pro, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. One thing that you're going to need specifically for this tutorial is a smartphone that can screen record. That screen recorded footage from your smartphone is going to be the footage you're going to use for the hologram. You also have to make sure that you capture yourself going through the motions for this video as well. And I've already done that, so I'm just going to click on that clip, drag it over into the timeline, and then I'm going to click on my screen recorded footage and drag that onto the timeline as well. And I'll sync this up here in a second, but the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select the clip and I'm going to go over to the editing tab. Once I get to the editing tab, I'm going to scale this down just a bit to where I can see what I'm working with. And then I'll go ahead, unclick the stopwatch here, and then I'm going to change this to opacity to 50%. And then from there, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go over to where it says effects and I'm going to type in crop because what I want to do is crop off the portions that I don't want in the clip. So I'll put crop down onto that screen re recorded footage and I'm going to change the top to 4.5% and then I'll change the bottom to nine. And that's just going to trim off those areas that I don't want to be seen in the video. Next, I'm going to go down here to the effects tab and type in basic 3D. And then I'm going to drag that onto my screenshot footage as well. And then what I'm going to do from here is I'm just going to mess around with the swivel and tilt. The swivel is just going to flip this around. That way I can make it look like it's facing me. It's facing the right direction and it looks natural. So I'll play around with this for a bit. And that looks pretty good. And then I can go back up here to position and adjust this if I need to, just to make it look a little bit more natural. I think right there looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna go down here to the effects tab again and type in RGB color balance. And I'm gonna drag that onto that same clip. And then what I wanna do is get rid of the reds completely. I wanna make this have like a bluish tint to it. So you can play around with these settings just to get the desired look that fits with your video. I think that looks pretty good. Then I'm going to go down here to the effects tab again, and I'm going to type in wave warp, drag that effect onto the clip. And for the wave type, I'm just going to change that to square. And I'm going to adjust my wave height to five, and then I'm going to adjust my wave width to five as well. Then I'm going to change the wave direction to zero, and that's going to give us that digital look. I'm then going to go back down here to the effects tab and type in alpha glow and then drag that alpha glow onto that clip as well. And I'm just going to play around with the glow and the brightness just to get the desired look that I'm going for. And then right where it says start color, I'm just going to grab this color picker tab and I'm just going to select a color within my video and I want to make sure that they're two different colors. And that's going to change the color of the glow. Just a couple more things left and we're all done. So next we're going to go ahead and sync up everything. So I'm first going to start off and I'm just going to make a couple of markers. So I'm going to go through and get the motion. And basically what I'm doing is I'm capturing any of the motion with my hands so that it can sync up with the motion that's on the screen captured or footage. And basically what we're going to be doing is speeding up and slowing down the clip so that it matches up with my hand motion. And I can do this by pressing command R on the keyboard and dragging forward or backwards. And that should have everything synced up. So next we're going to work on this little tapping effect here. And then what I'm going to do for that, I'm going to first select that clip, go over to the editing tab. And then down here in the effects box, I'm going to type in Lumetri color. And then I'm just going to add this to that part of the clip. And then I'm going to scroll down here. And then I want to click on this marker right here. And then I want to open up the basic corrections portion in Lumetri color. I'm going to scroll down here to where it says exposure and then what I want to do is click on the stopwatch here and I want to go back one frame and I want to press this little button here I'm going to go forward one more frame and then I'm going to actually drop this exposure down as much as you like whatever suits your specific video 1.5 is pretty good and then I want to go forward five frames so and then I'm going to change the exposure back to zero and this should look just like this now we want to drag our Peter McKinnon clip into the timeline. So I'm just going to go up here to the assembly tab. I'm going to click on the video and I'm going to drag it onto the timeline. I'm just going to mute this for a moment. And then what I'm going to do is basically trim off the areas that I do not want in the footage. Right about here is good. And then I'm going to place it over top. 
where I now what I'm going to do is basically the exact same thing that I did for the first clip, but this is going to be a lot faster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the editing tab and then I'm going to type in crop first, and then I'm going to drag that onto the Peter McKinnon clip. And then I'm just going to crop these edges and instead of using top and bottom, I'm actually going to use left and right because I want to get rid of these black bars that are here. So five should be good. And then for the left and then five should be good for the right. And that's going to trim that clip up and make it properly framed. Then what I'm going to do is go up here and uh, go ahead and scale it down just a little bit. And then all I'm going to do is click on my last clip and I'm going to go and select all the effects that I did for the clip prior. So I'm just going to select color balance. I'm going to hold down command on the keyboard, click on wave warp, and then click on basic 3D. I want you to hit command C for copy. And then I want you to click on the Peter McKinnon clip and just press command V. And that's going to paste all those effects onto that clip. Now, the last thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we adjust that opacity because right now it's still set to 100. You may not necessarily bring it, need to bring it all the way down to 50, but you need to just play around with the settings, see what works for your video. But I'll say about 70 works for me. And then we can also continue to adjust the scale and position to place the clip exactly where we want it to be. You can also play around with the basic 3D with the swivel and tilt if you need to as well. And then for the audio, we want it to sound more like a hologram. So what I want to do is go over here to the effects tab and then type in multiband compressor. And then I'm going to add that multiband compressor to my audio on that clip. Just click yes if that comes up. And then I'm going to go down here to where it says that multiband compressor. Click on edit where it says custom setup. And then I'm going to change this preset down to walkie talkie. And this is what it sounds like. So the last thing that I want to do is I want to change how this looks when the Peter McKinnon clip comes on the screen. So right now it just kind of shows up, but there's a way that we can make it look a lot better. So what I need to do is I need to go to the very first frame on this clip, and then I'm going to select the position and I'm going to select the scale. So right now for the scale, I just want to set it to zero. And then I want to go for three frames. And then I'm going to change the scale back to 64. Then I'm gonna go back one frame and I'm going to adjust the position as I need to. So if I need to make the position a little bit closer to my phone to make it look like it appears from my phone, that is fine. And then I'm gonna go back one more frame and I'm gonna adjust that even closer to my phone so it kinda of looks like it's coming out of the phone. And then when I play it back, it's gonna look like such. Kinda of has more of a popping effect to it. You also want to make sure that you add some uncopyrighted sound effects to your video because it's going to make it look that much better. All these sound effects are from Epidemic Sound in this video, but if you don't have Epidemic Sound or a subscription, you, I'm sure that you can find some uncopyrighted sound effects that are out there. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.